Alfred wants to be a supermodel, so he visits a fancy audition in New York, hoping for the best. There's a line of his rivals standing in the lobby. One of them is not from this planet. Can you guess who? This guy with the snake eyes. Daisy, the photographer, invites Alfred to her studio to take some shots. After a couple of days, she receives printed pictures and freaks out. Why? Take a look at Alfred's body in this picture. Both of his feet are right. Amazingly, Alfred gets his dream job. A famous magazine invited him to shoot their cover. He arrives at the studio early to get ready. Before the start of the photo shoot, Alfred looks in the mirror. Gross! There's an allergic rash all over his face. Alfred interrogates three suspects. The assistant says, I was told you're allergic to peanuts and berries, so we've prepared only safe snacks. The makeup artist says, I didn't touch your food. I put on your makeup and left for a coffee break. And the cleaning lady says, I know how sensitive models are. That's why I only use organic, hypoallergenic cleaning products. Can you guess who's guilty of Alfred's allergy? The makeup artist. Even though she didn't have access to his food, she was the only one who had access to his face, and she could put toxins in his makeup. Alfred gets hired as a model for a clothing catalog. He's asked to put on these trendy jeans. Can you count the exact number of holes in this piece of clothing? These two holes go through the pant legs, so in fact, these are four holes, not two. As for this hole, it's only on the front of the leg, plus one hole. But that's not all. These jeans also have three more holes, two on the bottom of the pant legs and one on the belt. So the correct answer is eight. Alfred stayed late in the studio to write a post, and now he's finally going home. He walks along the dark hall of the office building. Suddenly, Alfred hears someone screaming for help. The voice comes from the broom locker. He opens the door. Daisy, who closed you here? Daisy replies, I have no idea. I went to the eighth floor to eat in a Chinese restaurant, but it was closed for maintenance all day. So I decided to go home. Then someone put a garbage bag on my head and locked me in here. In the morning, Alfred interrogates five suspects. The cleaner says, I was washing the windows on the eighth floor. The makeup artist says, I was cleaning my brushes in the bathroom. The assistant says, I was helping the makeup artist, but I went home earlier. The stylist says, I had dinner in the local Chinese restaurant and then went to a concert. And the cameraman says, I was sick yesterday, so I went home early. Who locked up Daisy? the stylist. The Chinese restaurant was closed yesterday. The six friends get trapped inside the cave. Unfortunately, they had left all the food in the camp. That's why they're starving while waiting for the rescue group to arrive. Suddenly, Alfred finds five cookies in his pocket. Can you find the easiest way to divide these five cookies among six people equally? They should split the first three cookies in half and divide the remaining two cookies into three parts. This way, each person will get one half and one third of a cookie. Alfred returns from his vacation and checks his email. He sees three new job offers. Francis invites Alfred to participate in New York Fashion Week. Julia offers good money for a shampoo commercial. And Crystal offers him to be the face of a famous clothing brand. One of these employers is a scammer. Can you guess who?
Crystal, the spelling of the brand Gucci, is wrong. Alfred arrives at the shampoo commercial filming spot. He enters the dressing room and sees his actress partner, Amber. She has a short, messy haircut. Amber yells, I took a 30-minute nap and someone has cut my beautiful long hair. Alfred asks three suspects one question. What were you doing the last 30 minutes? The makeup artist says, I was streaming a backstage video for my followers. The guard replies, My coffee break started 30 minutes ago, so I went to the vending machine and bought hot chocolate. But then I received an assignment to catch a stranger with scissors. I kicked him out and returned to my workplace. And the stylist says, Oh, I spent the last 20 minutes in the toilet. I shouldn't have eaten seafood for breakfast. Can you help Alfred spot the liar? It's the guard. He bought the hot chocolate 30 minutes ago. But why is it still hot? Alfred arrives at the fashion week. He's staying in a hotel with the roommate, Billy. Alfred takes a brief look at Billy's suitcase and spots three weird details right away. Can you see them too? Why does he need the shaving cream if he uses an electric razor? The book title is printed upside down, and there's no pair to this sock. Alfred goes to a fancy party full of celebrities. Four guys want to impress him. They learn that Alfred was born in Australia. So they come up to him, tell their stories, and show some pictures. Jake says, I'm so excited to go on a road trip around Australia this summer. Peter says, I'm a travel blogger. Last summer in Arizona, I got some great kangaroo shots. Will says, I'm a super broke guy. I've only been to New Jersey so far. And Oliver says, I donate money for charity projects in Australia. Once, I saved a little koala. Who's lying? Peter, kangaroos only live in Australia. Alfred leaves the party. But suddenly, he finds out that he had left his phone in the club. He returns and questions three people standing nearby. The waiter says, I was busy with my orders. I didn't see anything. The cleaner says, I think I saw your phone on the sofa. But when I looked there again, it was already gone. And the manager says, There are no phones in our lost and found office. Who took Alfred's phone? The waiter. She has Alfred's phone case hidden in her boot. The next morning, Alfred enters the gym. He takes a look around and freaks out. Why? This lady is not from this planet. She has a completely transparent belly. Alfred is now wealthy enough to afford a new apartment. He locks all his documents and money in a safe that he found inside his bedroom, but now he can't open it. Alfred finds a list of codes nearby, but he doesn't know which one is correct. Can you help him figure out the code? These buttons are used a lot, but only the third combination includes all these numbers. Alfred goes to his granny and spends holidays in the country. There, he meets his school friend, Dan. They haven't been talking for years. Dan begins to boast, I've become a famous blogger. My videos on YouTube get millions of views. Dan shows Alfred a video from his channel, but Alfred looks at the video and immediately realizes that Dan is lying. How? The gap between likes and views is too huge. It's impossible. Dan just took a screenshot and changed the numbers in Photoshop.
that's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Here we go! Stella is a cleaning lady in a three-story business center. Late in the evening, she finishes cleaning the big boss's office. Stella is the last person in the entire building, so she locks the doors and goes home. The next morning, the boss calls her and yells, Someone wrote scammer on the wall near his desk with blue paint. The boss questions three suspects. The guard said, I was feeling sick yesterday, so I left earlier and asked Stella to lock all the doors with her keys. The manager says, This paint was supposed to be used for the basement. I guess someone had stolen the paint from the storage room. As for me, I've spent the evening with my family, and they can confirm my words. And the local interior decorator says, Yesterday, I was working from home. So, who's guilty? The guard! Take a look at his shoes. He left some footprints on the floor. And they look identical to the paint footprints left in the boss's office. Kyle and Amy are having dinner at a restaurant. Can you spot what's wrong here? She has two forks. You're in a land where 30 men and two women are dressed in conservative black and white outfits. They begin to fight as soon as any of them moves. Can you guess where you are? You're on a chessboard. Welcome to the food market. There's a zombie hiding somewhere here. Can you see him? Over here. Can you help the police spot a bank robber in this amusement park? Hello! Let's take a look at all of these emojis. Can you find any food? There's shrimp over here. What about this collection? Can you see anything edible? There are two options, actually. Let's go ahead and see if you can find a building among these emojis. There it is! Next set. Can you see a human among these emojis? Hello! I bet you can find a body part in this variety. This nose over here. Can you see any flowers among all these emojis? There are two flowers, actually, here and here. Can you spot what's wrong here? The reflection doesn't match reality. Can you see anything odd here? This lady doesn't have any reflection. Wicked Witch kidnaps young women in the town. The police have been tracking her for six months. And finally, they detected her hideout uptown. They break in and find three young ladies with their hands tied. The police questions all women. Sally says, I've been here for a month or so. I'm so glad you found us. 
Bella says, this witch only gave us some bread. We were starving. And Rosie says, I've spent a month in the darkness. I thought I'd never see the daylight again. The police know at once that one of them is the witch. Can you guess who? Sally. If she had been there for a month, her nails would grow and the nail polish would peel. George works in a museum as an appraisal expert. One day, a stranger brings him three antique Japanese vases. He says, they're precious. These vases were passed down in my family from generation to generation. They're worth millions. But I would like to sell them to your museum at a huge discount so that everyone can admire them. George examines the vases and finds out that only one of them isn't fake. Can you guess which one? The first piece looks pretty ancient, but why would an ancient Japanese vase have English letters as part of its decoration? The third vase depicts an elegant lady in a traditional costume who's holding a smartphone? Therefore, only the second vase is original. Let's take a look at this collection of emojis. Can you see any gadgets? There are two options, actually. Can you find a body part in this variety? This palm over here. Let's go ahead and see if you can find a building among these emojis. There it is! Next set. Can you see any animals among these emojis? There are three animals here. Can you find any plants among all these emojis? Hello! A powerful wizard kidnaps Kyle's wife. There are three tunnels leading to the dungeon where she's imprisoned. A mother bear is cuddling her cubs inside the first tunnel. The second tunnel is filled with hungry wolves who haven't been eating for a year. And a fire-breathing dragon is sleeping inside the third tunnel. It can wake up at any moment and burn anyone who dares to enter. Which way is more or less safe? The second path is the safest. Wolves won't survive without food for so long, which means they're not dangerous or breathing. Let's go ahead and see if you can find an outfit among these emojis. It's over here. Let's take a look at this collection of emojis. Can you see any money? Ka-ching! Can you find a shoe in this set? There it is! Next set, can you see any desserts among these emojis? Piece of cake! (laughs) <laughs> Literally. Ms. Smith is a rich old lady. Today, she's furious because she's found out that her son is having a secret relationship with one of her staff members. Three women are working in Ms. Smith's mansion. The house cleaner, who has just married their driver, they have a huge debt. The babysitter, who's very poor and brings up five siblings. And the gardener, who is a university student. She's not very serious and loves partying. Can you guess who's the secret girlfriend? (laughs) 
It's the babysitter. Where did she get money for this jewelry? Billy has lost his cat. Can you help him find it? It's hiding behind this lady. Alex wakes up in a creepy quest room. There are three doors, but touching their doorknobs is unsafe. The first one is under high voltage, fatal to humans. The second one is red-hot iron that will burn your hand. And the third one is covered with poison, which is fatal for all beings when injected. Which doorknob should Alex turn to escape? The third one. The poison is only dangerous when injected. Paul leaves his workplace to wash his hands before lunch. He returns to his desk and finds out that someone had eaten his turkey Uh sandwich. Paul checks the crime scene and questions three suspects among his co-workers. Mary says, I've been talking to the manager in his office when the robbery was taking place. Liam says, I don't need your sandwich, bro. I'm a vegetarian. And Wendy says, I've been having a conference call in the lobby. I wasn't looking at your desk. Who's lying? Liam. There's a sandwich on his desk. Take a closer look at the package. It says chicken. Therefore, he's not a vegetarian. Can you find any fish among all these emojis? Hello! Let's take a look at this collection of emojis. Can you see any money? Jackpot! Emma takes part in a beauty pageant. She arrives at the auditorium early, gets ready, and has lunch at the local cafeteria because she hasn't been eating or drinking all day. Before going to the stage, Emma faints. The doctors find out that someone had poisoned her. The police check all food and drinks at the cafeteria and find no poison. They interrogate four witnesses. The cook says, I only served allergy-friendly snacks and drinks. The contest manager says, all the models had been eating and drinking the same food. But Emma was the only one who got poisoned. She must have eaten something wrong at home. The rival beauty pageant contestant says, I've done all the preparations at home, so I've just arrived. And the makeup artist says, I was too busy with my duties, so I haven't even entered the cafeteria. Can you guess who poisoned Emma? The makeup artist. Lipstick was the only thing that touched Emma's mouth that day, apart from the cafeteria food. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.